Good day, parents. Good day, dear learners. Good day, Louisians. Welcome to the virtual world in this new normal. In this way, I'll be going to show to you on how to access Google Classroom and Google Forms as evaluation tool. First things first, we need to access first on our email account. So we have to create our own email account for us to access on the following platforms. First, I will, we will start with the Google Classroom. So in a Google Classroom, if I am the teacher, I'll be going to see all of this because these are all my classes. So in this way, I'll be joining in the class. If I am the student, I'll be joining the class. So I could see here, join class. But as a teacher, I will just click, have to click this first. My class, for example, dry run for junior high school, I will copy the link, the class code, and here as a student, I will join class. Just visit classroom.google.com and you will see this. If you are using your laptop or your computer, you just have to log in classroom.google.com and if you are using your phone right now, just kindly click the Google Classroom app and click this part, the plus sign and click join class. I'll be a, a pasting the class code and I'll be going to join. Let's wait for a moment if we will be going to join the class. Okay, so now I already joined the class. My name is St. Louis Academy Inc. DB official. Let me let me see if I am the teacher. It let me see if St. Louis Academy is already in my class. Let's see if you are already joining my class. Okay, let's me see. Okay, you are already here. You are already joining my class, which means you are already enrolled in this subject. So, if I am the teacher, if I am the teacher, I'll be going to post something here. Good afternoon, Louisians. Welcome to the new normal. So I'll be going to post this. Let me see if the student can see my post. Okay, we have here, yes. And you as a student, you can reply, good day teacher. Thanks a lot. Diba? You can access, so you can also submit. And the teacher will see your comment. Let me see. Okay, here it is. You already commented. So, in this way, if you already know how to, to see and comment, now let's see. If you're the student, you're going to post something like, uh, Good day, classmates. What is our topic last meeting? Uh, my connection is lost. See ba? So, with this, the... The teacher will see your post, so we can, I can reply you. And this is, for example, uh, our topic. Last meeting is all about scientific method. Okay, here you. Okay, I will just have to click submit. Now, let me see if I am the student, if I can see this comment by my teacher. Okay, here it is. So, if I am the teacher, I'll be going to host an assignment. For example, number one. Number one, what is the... What is... Uh, we will make it one. Why? How can we be able to join classes using Google Classroom? Okay. For example, you're going show the step by step process. 
So we have here, for example, 20 points. Today is the deadline, for example, and we have the deadline is 1 p.m. 1 p.m. The topic is all about scientific science, top science subject, scientific method. Scientific method. Question, um, quiz number two. So I will be going to be uh, notified. And now I will uh, instruction read, write your answer in two to three sentences. See? So we have a check as. And the teacher already posted an assignment. Here it is. Now if I am the student, how will I know and how will I see the assignment? Okay, you just have to wait and go to the home and see this. But do not click this, do not comment here, just go to classwork. In the classwork, you can see this, just click it. Okay, you are going to type your answer. For example, um, how can you be able to join classes? Like this, click this. So we have to join the classes. First, go to Google Classroom. I just saw the Spotify process. Go to Google Classroom. Click Join Class. Enter Class Code. And in this way, you will already joining the class join, join, click join class enter class code okay turn in once you turn in you won't be able to make any changes to your answer after you submit so let's see okay and i can also give you a comment like for example congratulations like that or teacher i, I am done answering this like that so how will the teacher know if you are answering or if you are done submitting the the assignment that you have so in that way you will be okay let me see the teacher if any teacher you will see in one okay one turned in which means you already submitted when i will click that i will know who submitted it and it is you as a student so i will give you a score of 20 over 20. now I will be going to send you your score return. So you will be okay. That is already a okay. You will be notified as graded. This means it's already graded. Mm -hmm. You were already graded by that teacher. Okay. So you can also see the your classmates answer once you submitted the submitted your answer. Okay. So in this way also class, you will be going to, to see in your home since you can also comment and post. For example, the teacher will have the, the what we call as the, the exam, what we call examination. So I could, uh, I could also see how many students do I have, for example, um, um you paid uh, you made the payment in the school you have to take the picture of the receipt save it in your gallery because we're going to use that in the future purposes and that's very important thing to do because kailangan kayo ang resibo para makatake sa exam using the google classroom ug tudlo ang tamo ana later on ha huh? so this time i since i already graded my student 20 over 20 here so graded so not all of them are not yet done submitting or returning the the answer it is all right because it's just having a sample a dry run for you to be able to uh, maka access mo unsa so, paggamit sa Google Classroom so here atong sang pindoton ang mga like this the, the answer but they must not use the comment but they have to must, must answer here. But they use the comment box. So next time, do not use the comment box. Just use this part here and click turn in. Huh? You have to turn in. This means submit. Okay. 
So this time, the teacher will be going to have, for example, we will have our predi first critical examination. How are we going to access the, the examination? For example, if all of you already made a payment, how will the teacher be notified by those by those students who will be going to take the exam? For example, if I am the teacher here, I'll be going to, to give you the link. I'm give, going to give you the link, for example, class. Please click the link, click the link, and access to our first critical test. Test. I will be posting the link, click link. So once you already posted, me as a teacher posted the link, so you will be notified as a student. How? So let's go to your home. Let's go to your home and here. So you can already see this link. Click this part pack and you will be directly notified. Okay, this is a sample. Answer the following questions. You have only have 45 minutes to answer. The five minutes is allocated in filling up the form. Once time is reached, you can no longer access the examination. It's to avoid cheating. And if you experience some trouble, just try contacting your class advisor or subject teacher regarding this concern. Nya, gibagi ko ganiya sa inyo ha, ngayon na mga resibo, picturean, isip sa gallery, because kailangan kaya ni mo, as it will be required before proceeding to the examination test proper. Now, I will enter my email address. Make sure to have your own email address. It's very important. Now, it will be asked for the different information or sabia. Write all in a capital letter. The date to date, the date of the examination. For example, today is the examination. And my session is 9 a.m. Because I am junior high school. I am elementary. But if you are pre-LM, you will start your class at 8 a.m. Because they are one-on-one. -on -one. Cluster B because I don't have much of the connection. Like what I said a while ago, upload receipt. Ang resibo yung magipicturean ganiha. I already made my payment sa school. I will click select files from the advice. I will click my resibo and upload it. Once it is uploaded, okay, I will click the next. So, you cannot see the any type of the part of the examination unless you are done answering the specific type test given. So, one point, one point with the test is multiple choice. I will just have to click this part and this part is my answer next. Why do we need? Okay, we need to learn. So I just have to copy my my answer here. For example, this is my answer. For example, it's my answer. So I will not take much of the time. For example, okay, the teacher asked. It's two sentences. I made it. So I will click next. So I will have here. Well, we need to plant trees to save Mother Earth. Trees give us air to breathe because it it releases oxygen. Oxygen. Okay, so I have here three sentences, but I made two, so don't expect that you'll get a perfect score because we're not following instructions. For example, I just made two sentences. For 10 points, I'll be going to click next. So next question is, which is the same shape below? Asa diha ang way labot sa circles, the wall, tomato, box, and the yo-yo. I will click the box. Which the following is an example, the rhyming words, cat, bat, try, fry, loop, hop, link, blink. I will click this. So I will have to answer this first, 80, 93, 32, 46, 120, 138, 7, and it is 4.44. I will click next. Okay, sa Pilipino naman tayo, paano natin gagawin ito? I-click lang natin ito. For example, 
Pulihan ang salita, hulapi, unlapi, at gitlapi. Pagkatapos kong sagutan yan, you will see kudos. Once you successfully finish and click submit, you can no longer go back and answer again a specific examination that you are answering. And you can and you are also need to use one account. You cannot use any other account just to answer of this examination because it's already notified, it's already noted by the teacher and listed those email that is owned by the student. I will click submit and I will also see my score. That's very important because it's very different from the face-to-face -face because the teacher will just have to find time to check your test paper and will be going to release your score score for five days or six days but here you can also already know your partial score i have my 23 partial score why because i still have the teacher will still have to check my essay and my picture storytelling right so if i am the teacher i will see these are my students who submitted i will see sle online class my score is 23 right 23 score perfect the same score now i am the teacher this time i will be going to check i'll give this five i'll give it nine because it's not following the i said three sentences but she only but i only wrote two sentences so i just have to give nine say my score is now 37 or 38 one mistake i will release the score to sla online plus your email and i will send it okay so you will also be notified that your score is this i will just have to go to your email because you have your email already as a student your email just go to gmail.com and your score is 37 or 38 is it it the same with this 37 or 38 and this so which means the coincide that is how we're going to perform this is how we're going to to see how going to makita na to ang atong mga score gamit ang google forms o ang mga other information at tulad nato ibutang sa Google Classroom. So, dili gid pwede nga, dili mo sendan sa inyong score because you will be notified with that sa inyong email. Magawas na na sa inyong notification bar nga na may email coming from your teacher nga na may score, na na may ansira, nakasabit na mo, na ibagay po si teacher. That's very important with that. So, do not, if you are you're using your computer, do not always forget to Sign out. If, if not, you're going to sign out. It's all right. So that uh, every time you will have a class, you're already notified. The na ka sa imuhang account. Dili na kayo masigdagin login pa. O kailan dito kayo, dili mo ilag out. Kaya mas, mas, mas better siya. So, I have here, ilan po, 84 students, right? Or I will see Sintuis Academy here. You are here already. I can also remove student. Ma-remove na po ang bata. Yes, I can remove them. If for example, they are not part of my class. For example, mga, mga other sections uh, which tend to to visit my our class nya gusto mo sit in. Pwede ta, pwede sit in because we have this what we call a set schedule. Fix nga tong schedule and it's not part of the modular. If you are modular, you are no longer um, required to visit uh, to access Google Classroom because you will be sending modules with you. Okay, so grades. Let me see the grades. Okay. Let me see. Saint Louis Academy, if your score is 20, I could see it here. Saint Louis. Your score must. Okay. Saint Louis, your score is 20. So, quiz number one, quiz number two, quiz number three, quiz number four. That's. Uh, okay. That. One of mga score tanan. Huh? So. That is the work of the teacher. Do not, don't you also worry because every, every time you, you will be going to notify with a deadline. It is always a deadline. Okay, five turned in, but one is already graded. Masabot ana niya. One pa kung gitaga, yung kung gitaga, giritornan sa grado. Ang lima pa dong pa. Seventy-eight are already are already receiving, but not yet answering. Huh? Okay, so if you have some questions regarding with the Google Forms, hope you enjoy a lot. Hope you understand and how to use the Google Classroom and the Google Forms for our for our online class, especially as we welcome this uh, our beginning classes this August twenty four. Hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for listening. 
Have a good day, Louisians. Goodbye.